Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have a little bit of a sad era that is now officially ending, and as well, some really, really big major changes when it comes to Xbox and Xbox Game Pass. Now, I want to go and talk about this pretty intensively and pretty in detail, because it is a pretty major change, and as well, kind of how I said, kind of a really, really sad, well, end of an era. If you guys were a part of the Xbox 360 days, like I know I myself was very, very heavy in that one, it's kind of like when I first got my kind of more bigger start into online multiplayer games. Gaming, play with my buds, all that type of good stuff. Uh, it's a little bit sad to go and see us kind of segue into a brand new era. But it kind of seems like right now with this Activision acquisition, not still fully done, but pretty much almost being there, it almost kind of seems like we're about to make this next really big leap towards gaming, gaming as a whole, and mega corporations. And the boomer herself, aka me, is a little bit sad about this. We're going to talk about the brand new Xbox news, talk about some drama, talk about some potential issues, and as well just kind of give you guys the overall run through of what's changing right now. So make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. We have these. Samsung how links down below we also have the Twitter and Twitch if you guys want to follow and of course as well as go and dive on into the video itself so if you guys missed it, we actually do have two kind of big, big Xbox news number one is that Xbox games is now official with Xbox Gold ending, is now being replaced by Xbox Game Pass Core, which is actually launching this September with a catalog of 25 plus games. But right now, I feel like we need to have like a nice F in the nice little YouTube comment section down below for Xbox Gold being Gonzo. So if you guys do or do not know, Xbox Live, Xbox Gold is now officially outdated. They kind of want to more so segue pretty much everyone into one unified Game Pass solution, which kind of makes sense for a branding perspective and everything else. Like in my mind, makes sense. But at the same time, it's just sad. Like after a while, we kind of just like kind of grew up with it. We're familiar with it. Although there was a lot of really big controversy as of these past few months. As of right this second, there was a lot of folks that basically had the old Xbox Live, Xbox Gold, and they essentially had free monthly games, kind of how we have right now with PlayStation Plus. And, well, people were like, what's the point of even having this? What's the point of this offering? What's going on in general? Do we even care? And, well, no one, I think, really did, and that's kind of why Xbox is trying to go solidify everything into one big program. So as right now, this, like I said, this will be launching in September with a catalog of 25-plus games. So Microsoft has officially killed off its long-running Xbox games with gold offerings and lifted lid on its replacement the xbox game pass core xbox game pass core will make its debut on the 14th of september so by the end of the summer and is described by microsoft as the evolution of xbox live gold kind of still sad to see for the same price though of seven euros and now they actually might be pounds i'm not sure not british not european whatever or ten dollars a month or 40 pounds 60 dollars a year game pass core includes online gaming and a selection a select collection of over 25 games to play with friends around the world that will grow over time i think one of the bigger things for that selection is maybe more focused on how playstation had the playstation essentials back in the day so i feel like they're almost trying to do a similar format of xbox where it's like the xbox I know thoughts kind of it just it makes sense it makes sense so game pass core brings online a play together with game pass and a new offering for gamers around the world microsoft said is now this new offering from xbox replaces games with gold like i said just no one really used it we even made a few videos about people complaining about it and it just seemed like the community wasn't really vibing it that much we want to use this opportunity to reimagine how to include content with this subscription we found that the answer to the most compelling catalog was to leverage select titles from our xbox game pass catalog microsoft explained Game Pass Core will launch with its... We'll get a little more details in a second. But basically, Game Pass Core will launch with multiple titles from Xbox Studios included. More games will be released onto the service following its launch two to three times a year. So they plan on you know, actively adding more and more. I'm sure as they either get licensing rights or maybe as like proper Xbox games. A good example is maybe like Fable. Maybe Fable after like two or three years will be added. Kind of have like a good similar thing for like Ratchet and Clank. So anyone who is already a member on Xbox Live Gold will automatically become a Game Pass Core member on the 14th of September. So as right now, if you can't basically get your prior uh, plan, you have a chance for it to segue on over with no change in pricing. And the UK games with gold is currently seven pounds a month. Now, I do think there's also been a few kind of schemes. If you guys want me to hear about like this on the channel, let me know. But there's also been a few like basically ways to pre-buy specific things and save money. Kind of how people would do with PlayStation Plus and order like those game cards for cheaper and then have like an easy transition. Or how people would do that with PlayStation now before it got cycled out, which makes sense. 
So, yeah. So, meanwhile, games with gold will come to a close on the 1st of September, so it's the end of that big Xbox era. Users will be able to access any Xbox One games redeemed through the service, providing they remain a Game Pass member. As for the 360 titles, which actually, funny enough, we've actually been seeing a really big insurgence of old-school Call of Duty games as on the Xbox side. Microsoft has said any games previously redeemed via games with gold will remain in a player's library, regardless of the subscription status, which is nice to kind of carry that on over. So this is also their brand new plans too as well, in case you guys are curious on this one. So the Xbox Game Pass 2. Choose the plan that's right for you as well. So number one, they have the core, which is the online console multiplayer catalog of over 25 high quality games on console and then member deals and discounts, which I want to say, I think that's like doesn't really necessarily include... Uh, there's like a little bit of drama. I almost want to, oh, we'll wait like another one or two days to see, but there actually might be a little bit of a big drama between the core and console and all these ultimates because there actually may not be online as well. Like if you guys kind of look at some of this type of stuff, uh, the next option for console at $11 a month has hundreds of high quality games on console, new games on day one and member deals. But if you guys also look and see online console multiplayer is only available on the core. So uh, I believe from my understanding, I may make a separate video on this if you guys see like a double upload in the same topic, that's so yeah, why you guys know why, but it does almost kind of seem like from my interpretations and my early looks at this, there actually is two separate things. So Game Pass is like you get to, do let's say you want to play like the Halo multiplayer, you need to have core. If you want to go play the Halo single player, you need to have the Game Pass console edition too as well. Uh, I think the PC version still, I believe, has multiplayer. So let's say you have Game Pass and you want to play PC stuff, it should be hopefully maybe fine. Uh, but it's kind of like a, it's kind of weird. So basically, the core is nine ninety nine. So like I said, that's like multiplayer, almost the equivalent of Xbox Live, Xbox Gold, with the also catalog of these brand new catalog games. Console would be like proper Game Pass, all the game downloads, let's say you want to play whatever, new games on day one, etc., the members, deals, and discounts. You have the PC version, so you have the hundreds of high-quality games on PC, similar to the console, new games on day one, membership deals, and now, and funny enough, this is actually a nice perk. I would probably say if you have to somehow bump this up for a higher price point for the online, that is actually, in my opinion, a pretty big negative. Like once again, I want to wait for like another day or so to see their distinctions on that one. But at least from the PC side, you also get the brand new EA Play membership, which I do believe was a part of the higher, more expensive bundle before as well. So at least with all this kind of weird stuff, if you do have to pay the extra money for multiplayer, which once again, no one really wants, at least you can get the nice little bump up for EA Play. And I don't think you need any online membership stuff because it's on PC anyway for EA Play, and I'm not sure exactly if PC players would have to pay extra money for this one. They do specifically say online console multiplayer, and traditionally PC doesn't usually require you to have a membership thing. Uh, PlayStation, Nintendo, and Xbox do, but that also kind of makes a little more sense. They have separate servers, hosting, like game matchmaking, whatever it might be. PC's typically not the same. A lot of th PC games are also peer-to-peer, -peer, or as well just have their own online servers that they pay for. Think like Battlefield or stuff like that. Uh, so I'm not really sure. Like I said, it's kind of new, but... And then also the Ultimate Edition, which I think a lot of folks will probably dive into. Hundreds of high-quality games on console, PC, and cloud. New games in day one. Membership deals and things. Online console multiplayer and EA Play membership. So it does kind of seem like they actually change this up potentially badly. Like I said, uh, if, if that's true, I'll probably rant about that because it's actually really dumb and also of a confusing offer. But you may also have to go and switch to a $17 a month to have access to Game Pass and online play. Although there was always usually a somewhat difference between the Xbox Live versus Game Pass itself. So hopefully like they don't make you have to only do that or I, I'm not really sure. It just seems kind of weird. Like I don't understand why they have to do these segmented tours. Maybe they're trying to make their money back off this, but it's kind of where it leads into monopoly issues. And while it's almost kind of weird that essentially the Activision deal pretty much just went through quote unquote, and they're already kind of doing big changes. It's a lot on the stranger side. Although I do believe this was kind of planned up most likely for a while, mainly because they did have a change to remove the $1 offering on Xbox game pass and as well had a few changes and you know, people have been complaining about it as we've talked about before. So these are also gonna be the current games as well for for the Game Pass core. Among Us, I would say a good game. Descenders, not sure. Dishonored 2, oldie but a goodie makes sense. Bethesda game they do now own. Bethesda, same with Doom. Fable Anniversary, probably go rehype up the brand new Fable game. Fallout 4 and 76, good games. Forza Horizon, good, a uh, good game as well. Gears, these are all just a lot of big Xbox essentials. Grounded, a very good game, especially for multiplayer. I enjoy it. Old Halo, funny enough. Halo Wars 2 as well. Like some of these are a little bit on the dated side, but whatever. Hellblade, Sauna Sacrifice, good game, especially pre preparing for the second. Second one, Human Fall Flat, cool game, Inside Dope, or in the World of Forest. Once again, those and the Will of the Forest, both a little bit on the older side. Psychonauts 2, good game, Sid of Decay, good game, and Elder Scrolls Online, Terminal Unlimited. So it does look like they want to go change this on up with them stating, 
Thank you to everyone who has been with us since the early days. Join along the way with friends and now with us on Xbox Game Pass, Microsoft's Jarrett West said on this announcement. I'm proud and humbled by the stories we hear about online teammates becoming real-life friends after years playing too as well, or even marriages. One of the single ladies hit me on up, whose uh, initial spark was ignited in a pre-match lobby. So all around kind of cool to go and see. So big changes could be some major changes too as well. Give me your thoughts and comments down below. Check in the Samsung link down below with the Twitter and Twitch room too as well. If you guys want to check that out, same with the Amazon links too. And I appreciate you all so much for watching here in the first place.